Good morning, folks. Craig Lawrence, Dark Matter Toys and Collectibles. We're going to do another fun toy review today. Today we're jumping way back to the 70s. And we're going to do something, full disclosure, these are not operating weapons, okay? Uh, but they do represent a time um, in the world where kids played outside nonstop. Bear with me one second. I lost something there. There we go. So, let's get right into it. This is going to be a fun one, I think. Let me just uh, reload here a little bit. All right, we'll do that in a second. Okay, anybody know? <laughs> this would have been a dream come true for any kid in the 80s, let me tell you. Anybody know what this bad boy is? Full disclosure, this is a toy. Okay? It's a very awesome toy. Just check this out. So, you know... It's got the tripod. So it's very hard to get this in the full picture because this thing's got to be, what, three feet long? Okay. Um, this is the Johnny 7. And I can't remember who makes this. Made by Deluxe Luke Reading Company, Canada, Toronto, Ontario. How cool is that? Kudos, Toronto. So one of the key functions, yes, you've got the tripod, which you can split. Uh, you know, if you want to lay on the ground and take out your friends. <laughs> um, there's this launcher here at the top. And I can't even remember what this function is, but there's a spring in here. Oh, we've got, uh, we've got these little bullets in here. We do have a grenade launcher on the tip, as well as a everything... Here is spring loaded, right? Oh, did you see that? All right. So super cool toy. I think it shoots bullets, grenades, and whatever that torpedo thing just was. How cool is that, Johnny Seven? I believe this toy is from the mid '70s. Now this is not something I come across very often. I actually had sold this to a customer, oh, probably two years ago a big G.I. Joe collector, and he saw this and he was like, I have to have that. Well, that started a whole a whole uh, trend for him, let's say. <clears throat> okay, we'll get into that in a second. So just one more glance at the Super 7. Like, there's a lot of functions on this, folks. I don't want to play with it too much because it is a fragile toy at this. But there's like all kinds of little flips and gears and switches and bullets and shooting stuff. Again, from the other side, oh, this thing is gigantic. Uh, we're talking about 70s and playing in the forest and having a good time with your friends. And maybe not coming home until the lights got turned on. I'm going to set this here on the table for a minute. This was also a time where, oh, this thing is so big. Um, we played a lot of you know, night guns or cops and robbers or kind of things like that. That was something that was created to do outside. Uh, we, uh, the whole community, every kid in the block, boys, girls, all age groups, we'd get together at dusk and we'd, you know, on a Saturday night or a Friday night, we'd go play. Pew, 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 I got you. It's kind of like paintball, okay, but for kids. So a lot of us didn't have these kinds of toys. We might have some little plastic cap guns or something. That's that's an episode I should do for sure. Um, and we didn't have things like this either. This is another super cool thing that uh, came out of the 70s. So, you know, James Bond. Oh, everybody knows James Bond, right? Um, and the spy and the espionage. And, you know, you, you'd, uh, you'd wear your dark clothes when you go play night guns or whatever. Whatever you called it in your area. Cops and robbers. But there was these other super cool toys like this. Now this is the secret Sam. This is not complete. It's missing, I believe, a camera and some bullets. Let's see if we can get a good look at that there. Now there's many components to this as well. I'll see if I can put some of it together quickly here. I do want to keep the video as short as possible today because I have a third item I want to show you. So you start with the gun and then I believe you get the uh, health portion whatever you call that I'm not a gun person at all and then you get uh, let me see how does this go on 
Oh, there we go. We're almost there, folks. So now we've got this. Now this would be awesome. You know, pew, 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 pew. How cool is that? And then I believe this part here is like a scope, which you would attach. Oh, let me see if I can figure this out. I'm assuming it attaches somewhere here to the scope area. I am not sure. Oh, hold on. There we go. Look at that. Right? So, if you want to peek up over a bush, maybe get your brother in the butt. Such a cool toy and such a great time. Now, the fun part about this toy is that, you know, it's um, um, an espionage case. So, I think we've all seen in the movies at some point or another, uh, you know, guy walks into a, a bar, Antonio Banderas, I think. Now, he had a uh, guitar case. I thought that was really cool. Um, or in this case, we have a briefcase. And one of the really fun, cool design uh, things with this is that this little button here, I don't know if you can see that, that little button would shoot a bullet out of this hole. If you can see that. So you'd be walking along with your briefcase, do 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 do, pop a bullet. I'm just carrying a briefcase, sir. Right? So, again, you had to have an imagination. Sometimes we use sticks. We'd find a stick that looked like a gun, and man, you'd keep that in your backyard as long as you could, and then someday someone would maybe steal it from you. So to conclude this rather unique issue of Dark Matter Toys and Collectibles, like, subscribe, and share, please. We have to go with an ultimate 80s classic. And man, if you don't know what this is, you don't enjoy Christmas like I do. Now, what have we here? We have the Red Rider BB gun. You will shoot your eye out, kid. Made by Daisy. Now, this isn't the original. The original is actually getting hard to find. This is the uh, replica or reissue, if you want to call it that. Okay. Very Western. You know, rifleman kind of vibe. I think I'll take this one out briefly and just give you a quick view of this. Now this, you know, who doesn't watch this every Christmas? It's such a classic. It's up there with Christmas Vacation. and Now this is a functioning BB gun. So hopefully I'm not um, going against any YouTube regulations. But I just want to show you the detail in the stock. Look at that. Right? And then we've got some more, I believe I just, oh, it's on the top here. You've got a little bit of design here as well. How fun is this thing? So again, um, these are all things that have come in the store in the last couple of years. Fun things. Um, these three items were purchased by a friend of mine who just really likes unique things. Um, he's very much a G.I. Joe collector, so this kind of fits in his overall collection. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to share these with you today. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, Craig Lawrence, Dark Matter Toys and Collectibles, 127 Ross Street, St. Thomas, Ontario. Like, subscribe, and share. Take care, folks. Don't shoot your eye out.